He's so in control, isn't he, of what his plan is in a game like this. I, I don't know why it is, but for whatever reason, this competition, the Nuno Emery, it just goes together. He knows how to make it successful. Well, he, he's a proven winner in, the, in this competition. He sets his teams up well. Uh, they've always had that attacking threat. He's now worked on, I think they first introduced that sort of, uh, the Chelsea Spurs games when they started playing them in the, in the Premier League. And he's now, he knows the, the formation he wants to play with and the players he can rely upon. And he's, he's gone through a process. OK, defensively, it's been a problem and the back end of the season has really disappeared for them away from home. As long as he goes and wins a trophy and wins it again, I think that experience is good for the club, good for the, the current players that are there because Arsenal have gone missing unlucky for various reasons not won a European trophy perhaps this is the year is it a case of you win it once or twice and you as a manager you have such confidence about a certain competition that that just breeds through to your players and they react to that and for some reason it just starts to work well he's obviously a master tactician yeah, but sets leagues and Champions League it's, you know, it's this competition isn't it Yes, you know, it's, it's the second one down, isn't it? Champions League, obviously, is the, the, the number one, the one you want to win. But he's obviously got something very special that Arsenal need to back him. I think when you get somebody in like Emery, who, who's, who's on the verge, obviously they've not won the, his fourth yet, but in terms of the people talk about Rafa Benitez being a great tactician, setting up a team that quite individually are not as good as the opposition but the way that he sets the team out he's chopped and changed a lot this season strikers have made a big difference to, to him getting results but when they drew Napoli all of a sudden people were saying that's it Arsenal had done they beat Napoli home and away and they've gone and beat Valencia home and away that 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 for me is telling telling Arsenal telling the the hierarchy and the money men you've got to back this man if you want success it's been a brilliant season. They should have finished. I think so. I think this is a brilliant, it's a brilliant first season. season Jake. They should have finished in the top four in the they league. They didn't. It will be yeah, if, but if he can Martin, win. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. I'm talking, right? They should have finished in the top four. Yeah? yeah. They lost to three teams that are below them that they should. Even if they took a, a win and a draw, yeah. four points. That doesn't make it a successful Premier League season, though. Well, on it? the back of what, he, what, what they had when he first came in. You know, and when Arsene Wenger was relieved of his duties, if you like, I think he's had a fantastic yeah. season. If, if, really you, if you look, though, John, at um, Arsene Wenger's last season, his worst finish for 23 years, um, they finished on 64 points, they were on 67. Uh, they, what they lost, 13 away games, or sorry, 13 games, they lost 10. Yeah. So it's very close, you know, but actually he's turning the club around and he will now need resources to make changes to the personnel. That's the next step. That's what needs to be supported to do.